Kali, Cost Effectiveness Analysis. Cost effectiveness is combining benefits and harms with cost. Steps. First, assess benefits and harms, net effectiveness or net benefit. Second, only if benefits overweigh harms, cost is considered. Third, cost effectiveness is to compare a new intervention with current or standard one. Cost effectiveness is measured by Cali, quality adjusted life year. It's a measure of quality and quantity of life lived generated by medical intervention. The four probabilities of cost and effectiveness. If cost is high and effectiveness is low, then it's not cost effective. If both are high or both are low, then it may be cost effective. Finally, if cost is low and effectiveness is high, then it's cost effective. Sam is a 50-year-old metal worker with COPD. He is expected to live two years at a quality of life of 0.5 when using treatment 1, at a cost of $1,200. But if he uses treatment 2, at a cost of $2,100, he is expected to live four years at a quality of life of 0.9. Physicians have noted out that treatment 2 benefits outweigh harms. Is treatment 2 considered cost effective? Make a table and a graph as shown here. Calculate Kali for treatments 1 and 2, then calculate Delta Kali. Kali equals years of life times utility value. Kali for treatment 1 equals 2 times 0. 0.5, which is 1 Kali. Kali for treatment 2 equals 4 times 0. 0.9, which is 3.6 Kali. Cost effectiveness is Delta cost over Delta Cali, which equals $308 per Cali. Sam gained 2.6 extra Calis when subjected to treatment 2. The extra Calis gained are equivalent to $800 with extra 2 years and extra 0.4 utility. Increased effectiveness justifies increased costs. Thus, treatment 2 is cost effective. References 